Police officer who shot dead Burnley colleague found guilty of gross misconduct but keeps his job. A police officer who shot dead a colleague has been given a reprimand but will keep his job despite being found guilty of gross misconduct. PC Ian Terry, 32, was killed during a botched firearms training exercise by Greater Manchester Police GMP in June 2008. More top stories. An inquest in 2010 found PC Terry, the father of two, was unlawfully killed. But the Crown Prosecution Service CPS, much to the anger of PC Terry's family, decided no one should face criminal charges. Today the officer who fired the fatal shot, known only as Chris, was found guilty of gross misconduct at an internal disciplinary hearing of GMP. He received a reprimand but will keep his job, the force said. Another officer involved in the training exercise, Francis, has been required to resign. None of the officers involved can be named publicly, after the inquest coroner and trial judge agreed with the officers' lawyers they should not be identified. PC Terry, from Burnley, Lanks, was shot as the firearms unit practiced in a disused factory in Newton Heath, Manchester on June 9, 2008. The officer, who was not wearing body armor, was hit from a distance of about 12 inches by a blank round of specialist ammunition called round irritant personnel, which is not designed to kill but can be deadly at close range. He had brandished an unloaded handgun during the exercise while playing the role of a criminal fleeing in a car. The inquest jury at Manchester Coroner's Court in March 2010 ruled that there was a catalogue of failures not only by the officer who shot PC Terry but also in the planning, training and safety measures. The force pleaded guilty in July last year to breaching the Health and Safety at Work Act and was fined 166,666 plus 90,000 court costs. The officer today forced to resign, Francis, was convicted of an offence under the same act last July and fined 2000. A third officer, known as Eric, was acquitted of the same charge. Misconduct allegations identified by an investigation by the Independent Police Complaints Commission IPCC were heard at an internal GMP misconduct hearing concluding today, PC Terry's family said. It has taken an unprecedented six years for the officer who killed Ian to face any form of penalty for his actions but after hearing all the evidence, an independent internal discipline tribunal has found that this officer has not only breached several rules of conduct but his actions fell far below what is expected of a police officer. We welcome the verdict but feel that this decision, together with the unlawful killing verdict reached by a jury at the coroner's inquest in 2010, confirms our opinion that the officer known as Chris should not have been allowed by the CPS to escape facing charges in the criminal trial. The tribunal have considered the circumstances of this case carefully and administered what they believe to be appropriate sanctions but the important result of this hearing is that we finally feel the officers responsible have been shown indisputably that they are undeniably to blame for Ian's death and we want them to know that we believe if they'd had the courage to face the consequences of their actions in 2008 and take responsibility for their actions, they could have saved our family six years of unnecessary pain and difficulty. Police and Crime Commissioner for Greater Manchester Tony Lloyd said, I would once again pass on my sympathies to Ian Terry's family, friends and colleagues. I welcome the outcome of this disciplinary hearing, but again question why the Independent Police Complaints Commissioner has taken six years to get to this stage. All this has done is prolong the heartbreak for Ian's family. It is insulting and it is unacceptable. The IPCC needs to change the way it goes about its business, or else the government needs tea.